Hello everyone, I'm going to do a review about the new Johnny Lightning Wheeled Warrior set. There are actually two versions, here we see the weathered version, but there is also a non-weathered version that is right here. I'm going to keep these one carded, but uh, yes, we're going to unbox these or take them out of the package and do a review about them. Pretty cool set, so um, also got one chase, ugly chase. But yeah, still got it. Uh, we got a Willys. We got a super cool Abraham tanks. I'm a big fan of the Abraham tank. How will you know? Well, I've got more of them. Uh, German. Uh, Dodge, I believe. And we got two Humvees. Totally awesome. I'm a big fan of military models, got a lot of them myself, right here, I even got a Mini Champs, Abrams, Forstal Failure, uh, Humvee, uh, Humvee from Dragon Armor in a 172 scale, got some more Humvees right here, uh, more Tanks from Forest of Fellow, this is the Abraham tanks. Um, this one, I believe, is used in the Ukraine war. The Heimers. Got another one over there, so I'm going to do an unboxing about that one. Some helicopters. And here I also have uh, some tanks and military vehicles. Ooh, and they're also on top. But uh, today we're going to look at these wheeled warriors from Johnny Lightning. Starting with this beautiful Humvee. Um, let's see, there is a lot of information here. Freeze the frame if you wanna read it. And here is the M1025 Humvee. Armament Carrier, Policing Kosovo, that's a long time ago, United Nation Peacekeeping Mission. Um, what do we have in the back? So here you see the complete set, the Dodge, the Humvee, the Heavy Armored Humvee, Willys Jeep, the German Panther G-Tank and the Abrams Tank, they are all here. Freeze the frame if you want to read it. And you see um, Johnny Lightning is also active on social media. And here we got the barcode and article number. Let's take it out of the package. I was waiting for this set for a long time. Did a pre-order a long time ago. And now it's finally there. And check this out, I'm going to put the camera a little bit more here to the light. This is a crazy cool looking casting, wow. We got a license plate, painted front lights. For me, this is the one and only Hummer, the H1. Military police on the side, no opening parts. We also have no windows on the side. Uh, we do have a good looking interior, but it's a little bit difficult to see. Wheels are rolling really good. Here is the back. Do we have an opening back? No, we don't have an opening back. Painted rear lights. We got a grenade launcher on top. We cannot turn it, no opening hatch, and uh, what bothers me a little bit, no side mirrors, because uh, yeah, the, these cars, they have big side mirrors, but uh, unfortunately, Johnny Lightning thinks different about it. Made in China, here we got uh, Johnny Lightning brand, a nice metal base, lots of details, I like that. So yeah, very cool looking casting. Here I've got a Chinese Humvee in a 164 scale. You can see the difference. 
but uh, they do think side mirrors are important and uh, I like that it's pretty easy just simple side mirror what's the big deal spare tire yeah the base from Johnny Lightning is much much better and uh, this one has very good suspension and I also got one from uh, Gorgi this one doesn't look that realistic although it's kinda cool looking Point fifty machine gun and the scale is a little bit bigger but here is a hole so you can put a figure in it that's uh, kind of cool this is from the Iraqi war or Kuwait war you see the brand Gorgi yeah very cool model okay let's go to the next one so here we got the other Humvee uh, the Iraq war 2003 to 2011 uh, I think in 2003 uh, yeah I think they do had Humvees uh, like this yeah very heavy armored in the beginning it was like this almost no armor at all here's another one almost no armor there we have another one and uh, a lot of American soldiers lost their life because of that okay, let's take it out of the package okay we got some uh, text here freeze the frame if you want to read it barcode article number and I believe this is the same text as the other package let's see if that's true yeah that's the same so I don't have to show you that again look at this one how cool is this totally awesome Let's take a closer look. Not sure what this flag was for. Got a big bumper in front. Um, can we, yes, we can rotate probably 360 degrees. Yep, you can rotate it 360 degrees. The machine gun looks very nice. Not bad at all. But there is no hole here inside and that was uh, better for putting a figure inside unfortunately they didn't think about that again no side mirrors no uh, windows here in the side uh, yeah that's a little bit disappointed but because in the the real ones has thick armored glass on the side that's a little bit uh, disappointing okay we got a spare tire here in the back Painted rear lights, lots of details. It's pretty cool. Uh, something that looks like an antenna. And here we have the the base. Does it roll? Yes, it rolls really well. 
and this one too. Yeah, very cool looking Humvees. I'm very glad I can add them in my collection. I think these will be gone very soon. And by the way, I've ordered these at Tom's, the store where I uh, almost buy all my diecast. And I will leave a link in the description to uh, the models. If you're interested in this set, you can buy it. Okay, um, this is the Chase. So this is the Chase version of this one. Ugly Chase, in my opinion. In my opinion, a Chase have to look better than the original one, than the regular version. But uh, Johnny Lightning thinks different about that. Very ugly with those light wheels. Also ugly camouflage. Yeah, the regular version looks much, much better. Do you have to give it some more details? Maybe uh, side mirrors, for example, or uh, lanced headlights, lanced rear lights. I don't know. Or uh, that it comes with a, with a 164 figure. But no, they decided to uh, make an ugly chase. Bah! Ugly chase. Okay, um, how does the nun on this version? Where is the other one? Uh, so here we have the nun weathered version. Also pretty cool looking. Yeah, not bad at all. And here we can see the uh, steering wheel. Looks pretty nice. Okay, uh, next one. We're going to have a look at the uh, Willy. And this one is captured by the Germans, and you can read it right here. So, freeze the frame if you want to read it. Uh, and then you can read the story why this Willy was captured. Here it is. Oh, cool, that interior is fantastic with all those uh, gear for high gearing, low gearing. That looks pretty cool. Different colors in the interior, I like that. Nice camouflage. And he has that butte farzug. And uh, that was to make sure they uh, didn't get shot by their own army. Friendly fire, shovel, and an axe. Nice jerry can on the back, spare tire, rubber tire. And here we have the base, metal base. 10-12-2021, whoa. Yeah, very cool. Do I have another Willy? Yes, I have another one from a Mets box. This is from the Coffee Cruiser, no, City Adventure 3. Sorry. And here you can see the one from Johnny Lightning is a little bit bigger. Not that much. The one from Matchbox has a little bit wider tires.
Yep. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, definitely one of my favorites, the Abraham tank. I'm a big fan of this uh, tank. And it comes with that thing uh, for the mines. Invasion Iraq, the fall of Baghdad. Okay, let's take it out of the package. So here we got some information. Freeze the frame if you want to read it. Of the 1848 Abrams tanks then sent to Iraq, only 18 were disabled or destroyed. Whoa. All by landmines. Operational misshapes or friendly fire to render an abandoned tank permanently disabled. Uh, blah blah blah. Targets and most powerful land vehicle winning many victories in Iraq. Okay. So here it is. And I think. This one, yep, I have to put that one right here. That goes pretty easy. Unfortunately, it's not a 164 scale. It's uh, a lot smaller. It was so much cooler if it was done in a 164 scale, so it matched with the other vehicles, because let's be honest, a Humvee that is almost just as big as the Abrams, that doesn't seem right to me. Uh, I don't see anything on the package about a skill. And how about on the base? No. No. Fortunately not. No working tracks, by the way. Um, yes, it can turn a little bit. Okay, and here it says the iron horse. Got two machine guns on top. This one looks not like a machine gun it's looks very weird okay here we got the back we do have rubber tracks but uh, they're not rolling don't have another example of this tank from Johnny Lightning because I do know this this is not the first one they made Yes, we can move this one a little bit up and down. So yeah, pretty cool looking tank. But uh, for me, it has to be a lot bigger. Okay, where is the... Let's see. This is the non weathered version. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Another tank. Oh, I also have to show you uh, this Abrams right here. This is in a 172 scale made by Dragon Armor and here you see the difference in size Let's do it. Oh. you see the difference in size that 172 scale is a lot bigger and a lot more detailed also 
also made out of diecast, by the way. Well, I do have to say, the one from Johnny Lightning feels just as heavy. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's take a look at this one right here. A German tank, a German Panzer G tank. Here it is. And we got some text. Freeze the frame if you want to read it. tracks <laughs> machine gun on top not much detail on the machine gun that's a little bit uh, disappointing just make a bigger tank Johnny Lightning much more realistic with the rest of the vi vehicles and you can give the machine gun some more detail don't under, do not understand me wrong, you know, uh, this is pretty cool looking, but come on. Metal base. Okay. I don't, do not have another example of this tank, I believe. Or maybe it's the same as... Um, where is it? Where do I have this tank? I think it's behind these solidos over here. Um, yeah, oh, no, 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 no. That's a King Tiger. Already see it. Still have to do a review about those. Right here, these are also uh, military models. Uh, and there's also a Humvee. Yep. There's another Humvee from K4 in a 148 scale. They're pretty cool. Still have to do a review about it. There are actually, uh, what is it, four, five, six models. There's another model there in the back. That's for another time. Got plenty of stuff to do a review about. Uh, last one. As this uh, Dutch right here. Uh, let's see. World War II Dutch WC55 uh, 57 command car. And here we got some text. Here's the image, and here we got the back, but it's uh, the same back as all the other packages. Collect all six, release one, version B. Do not have another example of this vehicle. I'm not into the classic military vehicles. To be honest, I'm more into the modern military vehicles, but uh, I have to say it does look pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to do it like this. So we do have a license plate, some sort of a logo, and a flag here. This is also. Kampfgruppe Ziegler, this is also captured by the Germans. Shovel on the back. Nice interior. Big spare here on the side, I like that. And here we have the base.
So yeah, that's it. Oh no, um, I have to show you the non-wetted version of this tank, Panther. You see, it got a little bit difference. They're not totally the same. And we also have the release. And this one is still from the British, I think, or the Americans. Here you see the difference. Different camouflage. No, same camouflage, but uh, because it's non-weathered, it's a little bit different. And um, we got this one right here. Yep, USA. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm not into the classics. Okay, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share these videos with your friends. More Military Diecast is coming in the future because I have a lot more reviews to do about military models. Uh, again, thanks for watching and have a very nice day. See you soon. Bye.